Yo, just before we start the video, I just want to let you guys know that I'm me reviewing my second pair of Devour fans. All you guys gotta do is join the Discord server down below and subscribe. The giveaway will be down there, so make sure you go and check that out. But anyway, let's get right into the video. Treat me like Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get the polar items inside of Project Slayers very easily. So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually find a horse guy right behind you. And you're going to want to go ahead and talk to him. And make sure you have the Devourer's Jaw unlocked because you will need to teleport there. Okay, so first I'm going to show you guys the fans and scythe locations. And then I'm going to show you guys the quickest way to get the stuff that you need from the dungeons and bosses. Okay, so for the fans, you're basically going to spawn a Devourer's Jaw right over there. You're going to want to run over here into this little cave area right here behind back. And then you're just going to want to run through it. Doma does spawn right here, so you might have to fight Doma. But anyway, keep running. And as you guys can see, the polar fans are right over here. So basically, you do need war fans in order to get it, plus 150,001 and 10 ore. So make sure you guys have all those necessary materials. Plus, you got to be level 100 in order to actually unlock this. So make sure you do meet all those requirements before you actually go ahead and go for the polar fans. Anyway, next, I'm going to show you guys the site location. It is a little bit more complicated, so yeah. Alright, so basically, you, now you're back to the Devourer's Jaw where you spawned in. Now for the site, you are going to need a metal site for this. So basically, to get the metal site, all you guys got to do is actually go ahead and get a normal site. And then go to the Uigahara dungeon, get 1800 points in one run by the metal site. And then you will be eligible to craft the uh, polar site. But I mean, anyway, I'm going to show you guys the location right now. Okay, so now if you guys followed where I went, basically the little maze is very easy. Just keep uh, keep going right and then just follow that path. And basically now you will be here where the polar site is. Basically the requirements for the polar site are the same as the polar fans, except instead of having the war fans, you are going to need a metal site. So we should just go ahead and get that. So basically for this, all you need is 150,001 and 10 ore as well. Same thing. Uh, but as I mentioned, you do need a metal site as well. So we should just go ahead and have that with also being level 100, obviously. But I think most of you guys are level 100, so... If you guys don't want to go for those two items, that's basically how you get them. Now, this is probably what you guys have most been waiting for, which is how to get the polar set the fastest. Alright, so as you guys can see, I actually have both. I have, they have, have the whole set, and my mask is currently traded away uh, to a friend. I traded it away for some ores and stuff, but I can easily get another mask, which is why I actually did trade it with doing this method. So, I'm going to show you guys the best method in order to go ahead and get polar stuff. It's not going to be the same old, like, old dungeon, me fishing in the dungeons. I don't know. I'm going to show you guys a different method that guarantees you one after a certain amount of dungeons. Okay, no other method guarantees one after a certain amount of dungeons. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's hop in the dungeon and I'll show you guys the method. Okay, so basically, once you guys are in the Ugar dungeon, you're basically going to want to follow what I do. So basically, you're going to want to go for the maximum amount of points that you can get. And then after that, you're going to want to head into the shop. Now, let's go to the shop and I'll show you guys what I mean. Alright, so basically what I did is I basically from the dungeon just show you guys what i'm basically gonna be doing so basically all you guys are gonna do is basically come over here to the dungeon shop then as usual try to go as first much points as possible obviously and try to kill as much as many bosses as possible that's also important so playing with a party of people do try to hog the bosses to get the more chests so more the more chests the higher chance of people getting polar items so what you're gonna want to do is come up here check if you got polar items obviously i would recommend one to two thousand points if you get less than that i don't think you're getting any polar items but you want to get one to two thousand maybe three thousand if possible all points in order to do that but anyway uh check that that's the basic way but now my my way that i actually did to get uh, one of my pieces the other piece i got it from a drop this piece i actually did get it from doing this method so i so basically for this method what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and take all your points come over here to the shop right here and you're gonna see yeah, you could buy one for points you could also buy xp over there if you do need it but you basically can buy one for points now, if you guys don't know there's a thing in the game called ores and basically ores are basically the main currency that the community uses one ore is worth about six to seven thousand win i believe so basically what you're gonna want to do is uh six times uh six times 30 is 180,000 win so you're gonna need about 180,000 win um 180,000 win to actually go ahead and get uh, one piece so one piece usually goes for around 25 to 30 you could probably get it if you're lucky for 20 ores so yeah 25 to 30 ores is actually what they usually go for so just buy a ton of win can uh you could actually go ahead and uh you could actually use ores to get double one but i don't know if that's really worth it so what i do is basically just buy this uh just spend all in one and then you get you might get 101 per time for 25 points so it's actually a pretty good conversion but anyway 
Basically, what you're gonna wanna do is keep repeating this method. After about 15 dungeons, or less probably actually, I was able to get myself a polar piece just off of shading four ores. So make sure to go ahead and uh, do this method if you guys do wanna get the polar set as fast as possible. I was able to get all three pieces very, very fast doing this method. I believe I got them all in one singular day and my friend also got one uh, through this method as well. So make sure to go ahead and try out that method. Oh uh, yeah, but that's really all I have to say for this video. I did show you guys all the locations for these types and the fans. And I also did show you guys how to go ahead and get it for yourself using the one method and also the obviously drops method. So yeah, just basically kill as many bosses as possible and then come over here by when. And then you can actually guarantee yourself one after about 15 dungeons. But anyway, that's all for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. For my Discord server, I'm giving away the power fans in there. And uh, yeah, that's all, I, that's all I have for this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.